Hey family, God bless you. So I wanted to share some things that the Lord was recently sharing with me, especially last night. Um, I definitely know a lot of you and of course myself have been dealing with a lot of, I, can, I guess you can say attacks from the fallen and I've been getting a lot of different dreams with them in them and just all types of deception that they are putting out in against the body, trying to lead us away. Um, so definitely be careful with that. Whatever you are getting as far as um, revelation or if anyone's bringing things to you to share with you that they got revelation of, make sure you take it to the Lord every time with everything. Get double confirmations, triple confirmations, whatever you need to do to make sure that whatever you are receiving is truth of God and not deception because the enemy will put truth mixed with lies and it'll be a little bit of truth and a whole lot of lies and he'll cover it with the truth and you won't know until unless you go deeper into it or unless you you know look further into it or or the lord gives you discernment and um understanding and wisdom and reveals to you what's really underneath that false cover so so just be aware of that um that the fallen is definitely out and about and um doing all types of tricks but nonetheless i wanted to share this uh this dream that i had last night and um i've definitely like i said in the last video i've been traveling a lot the lord's been taking me to a lot of different places and um allowing me to do a lot of um, casting out of demons from other people. And it, it's been some very interesting things that I've been seeing, um, a little bit of disturbing things as well. But I had this really long dream last night. And um, I'm just going to share a part of it uh, that I know is, is very important to share so what I saw was um, the beast of revelation and in this dream it starts off I was in this place with a large group of women and there were two who seemed to be in charge of the rest of the group so the scene kind of looked like how like talk shows and like how you have the one woman sitting um, in, you know, whatever seat she's sitting in on the stage and then behind the stage or in front of the stage, um, there's the audience and it was like just women all around watching this one woman sitting on this seat that looked like a throne. And um, the woman that was sitting on this seat that looked like a throne, I believe was Madonna. So I could tell that the other women in the room worship this woman in the seat and follow after whatever she did or said. So they were all watching her and she seemed kind of down or something. So she took her left breast out and, and let it hang over her clothing. And then this other, the other woman that who seemed in charge um, on another level came over to her and sucked from her breast, from her exposed breast. And it in the dream, it seemed... The, the understanding that I got in a dream was that, um, or the thought that I had in a dream was that it seemed like a sign of 
like showing respect or, or a, a show of uh, endearment. So I was looking at the woman's breast that was exposed, thinking that it was really strange that she did that. And I was wondering why she did it. And, and I, I was also thinking that it looked really weird. Like the her breast it, itself looked really weird. So then it started to move on its own, like it was breathing. And these, it, it started to transform, I guess you could say. And like these spikes of flesh, these fleshy spikes started to form on the surface. And um, the nipple, then it stretched out like almost like a snake and the tip of the the snake of of the uh nipple um split into three like so it was moving around and stuff and and then she like sucked it back into to her breast which was really creepy so then this woman began to speak to um, all the other women in, in front of the woman on the seat, the, the woman that had sucked from her breast had started speaking to all the other women in the room, all the other women in the room. And she seemed to, to be telling them about some kind of weapon or power that she was working on. And she seemed frustrated with the others. Then she did some type of witchcraft. And the atmosphere above her began to change and she changed and um, then spit out this green smoke and the smoke went up into the air above her. And um, there was there was then this man that had entered into the room or that I saw there and the smoke, that green smoke that she had spit out then went into him. And it began to, I knew it began to possess him. And she she could control him from that. So controlling him, he, he then stepped over to some type of machine that had this electricity going through it and around it. And I knew that he was going to go into this thing and, uh, and be killed like alive be like electrocuted alive and all the women in the room were all like just going crazy excited and and I, I didn't want to see what was about to happen to this man so I like turned my head and I left the room and I went into uh the next scene in the dream where I was then at this um house but and that's like a whole nother part of the dream like a whole nother long story so that I'm gonna stop right there but I wanted to explain some things from this dream because it, it was very clear that this was uh Revelation 13 being shown um uh, amongst other scriptures but Revelation 13 definitely matches up with this dream so one of the things that came to mind came to my mind was the fact that I saw this this lady that was sitting in his seat as Madonna. So I looked up, um, I mean, just besides the fact that Madonna is, is extremely satanic anyway, but um, I looked up what Madonna means. So Madonna in Italian as Madonna, Madonna um, says my lady and it also is uh, a name for the Virgin Mary. That's um, what the Roman Catholics um, see her as, uh, the, the Madonna. And, you know, there's a lot of just different religions um, that see, you know, that use this, like it, you see this in art. And um, but it's it's mostly uh, very prevalent in um, Roman Catholicism. So obviously, you know, there's religions that worship Madonna or 
my lady or the Virgin Mary as a deity. And one of the big religions that, that do this, even though a lot of Roman Catholics don't, won't say they do that, but they do. And um, Roman Catholicism is one of the big religions that does this uh, amongst others. And, and they call her the Mary, the Queen, or the Mother of Heaven. And, and and they they pray to her and and you know they put her on this pedestal that only Christ should be on and um the the Bible um the Christian Bible does not say anything there's nothing in the Word of God that says that we should worship the mother of Jesus there's nothing in the word that says that that she should be lifted up in in the high the highness that they that they put her in that these false religions put her at so that was one of the first things that popped in my head so then that led to then the lord led me to from there to the fact that the vatican is the center of Roman Catholicism. So there are many who consider the Vatican and and um Roman Catholicism as the mother of false religions. So that would equal to the woman seated on the throne, which would also then be the Antichrist be seated on the throne. So that's who I saw seated on his throne. This woman, that's why you see him as the woman, because um, the woman equals false doctrines and false religions of the world. So, Revelation 13, 2 says, The beast I saw resembled a leopard, but had feet like those of a bear, and a mouth like that of a lion. The dragon gave the beast his power, and his throne and great authority. So that's where we see here that this is the Antichrist seated on the throne. That's who I saw in this dream. Plus the fact that I saw this this uh this breast that had this snake like creature, demon creature coming out of it. So that that was a clear representation or symbol for me um the snake as Satan. So then um uh, we we see in Revelation 14:4 um speaking of the 144,000 saying that these are they which were not defiled with women for they are virgins and this women here again as I was saying is talking about the false doctrines and false religions of the world this is symbolic and as them being virgins, again, being symbolic as spiritually pure from abstaining from these false doctrines and religions. So, um, then the women that were following after Madonna or the, the false woman the, that was in this seat, the Antichrist, they represent the nations and people of the earth and revelation 13 8 explains that by saying and all that dwell upon the earth shall worship him whose names are not written in the book of life of the lamb slain from the foundation of the world so then lastly we have this woman that was performing the witchcraft the woman that came up to when I was sitting on a seat and sucked from her breast and then started doing this witchcraft in front of all these people, this these signs. So this is the false prophet beast. And Revelation 13, 11 to 14 says, And I beheld another beast coming up out of the earth, and he had two horns like a lamb, and he spake as a dragon, and he exercised all the power of the first beast 
before him and causeth the earth and them which dwell therein to worship the first beast, as we saw the, the women worshiping, whose deadly wound was healed, and he doeth great wonders, so that he maketh fire come down from heaven on the earth in the sight of men, and deceiveth them that dwell on the earth by the means of those miracles which he had power to do in the sight of the beast, as I saw this woman doing this in front of the woman sitting on the seat, saying to them that dwell on the earth that they should make an image to the beast which had the wound by a sword and did live. So another thing that I just want to mention was the fact that or how the Lord explained to me why I saw this, the woman or the false prophet suck from the breasts of the woman sitting on the, on the throne or the Antichrist. So to suck from the breast is just like how a baby sucks from the breast of the mom. The baby needs milk from the mom to be nourished to grow. Or you can say that as needing power. So as Revelation 13 said that the false prophet beast exercised the power of the first beast. So he needed to get power from the first beast sucking from the breast in order to do these signs and these, these wonders to, um, to dupe the people, to deceive the nations, to worship after the beast on the throne. That's why it says that um, the, the, the beast from the throne, um, well, the beast from the, the beast that was sitting on the throne got his power, got his throne from the dragon. The dragon is Satan. And that's why you saw the, or that's why I saw the, the snake coming out of this, this, um, woman's breast because it was showing the, what was truly in her, the, the spirit that was in her that had possessed um over over this woman and um then the fact that i saw these this power this uh smoke or or this green smoke that the wit that the witchcraft was done to go into this man who i believe represents is a representation of a couple things but mainly um the people of the earth that are not written in the book of life and or or that take the the mark of the beast and they will be possessed um open to be possessed by these demonic these demon beings and and they were they they will then be demonically possessed to be controlled and a lot of them a lot of time they'll just be they're, they're just going to be killing i mean they won't actually be killing them because they're not going to be able to die but they're going to be harming them doing all types of harm and damage to themselves you know and these people are going to be alive to feel these things and you know all types of crazy things is going to be happening to these people very horrible things that i saw in this dream that i didn't even share but the important part is what i wanted to share um definitely obviously the lord gave me a stream for a reason and um there's like other things that i wanted to share but i had to put this out before i get to those things i, I have some some really good news on a lighter level on a lighter note about uh the transformation um so i have some more information on that revelation on that so i'm going to um get to that in a different a different video but for now, that's what I wanted to share. So definitely take this to the Lord. Pray on it. Um, just continue to pray for, for protection, um, insight, understanding, wisdom, and knowledge uh, that we can continue to grow in the Word, grow in our walks with the Lord, grow in our walks with each other, and um, that we can come together in unity in the Spirit. And um, if this is all... Through Jesus Christ, I give Father God, Jesus Christ, my Lord and Savior, all the glory. I love you guys. God bless you. And I'll talk with you soon.